Are you a filmmaker? Producer? Director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor? Screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucille Morgan on Take 101. Yeah, my name is Nito Walawi, I'm CEO of Eccentric Films. I'm a filmmaker, I've written, produced and directed two feature films, um, as well as several shorts, um, music videos, um, TV commercials. At the moment we have several features um, in development. Well, ideally, um, from the script stage, um, distribution should something, you know, is something that should be, you know, at the forefront, you know, um, you know, of the entire process. Because if you think of the filmmaking life life cycle, um, distribution comes right at the end, you know, after post production. Um, but it's something that you should actually think of from, you know, from inception. Um, so things like casting, for instance, you, you need to get the right cast in the film. Because ultimately, when um, a sales agent or a distributor or even you know the audience, when they hear about the film, you know the first question is who's in it. So that's very very important. Um, besides that, you need to look at um, like the suitability of the genre and how that fits in with you know, you know and how that fits in with the target audience. And just pretty much do your homework actually from when you know from when you're actually doing your writing. If you can get some, um, if you can get some pre-sales deals in place before actually shooting the film, um, at least that way you know that you've got some revenue coming in. Uh, some would actually give you an advance or you know, your, or, or an or upfront payment that could potentially feed back into you know your you know that could feed back into your production, or you could use that for marketing. Um, the different distribution deals, um, you know, some would pay for your marketing. Some you have to cover that, that yourself. Obviously, again, by the time the film is done, you know, the quality of the film would determine, um, you know, how viable and how marketable, you know, and how, and how marketable, like, the actual film is. Um, short films, typically, um, they're not really considered, you know, a commercially viable you know product you know within themselves um, but shorts are great for, um, to actually get you noticed so if you do a decent short for instance so taking that out you know you know like, um, so taking that out to festivals for instance is a good way of actually getting you know attention um, you can use a short to build an audience as well um, with the internet being so much more accessible now um, with Vimeo on YouTube and other platforms um, you could do shorts or web series and then put that out there and that way if you can generate enough followership you can then start making money from your shorts. Um, yeah, but a lot of people typically on the first feature you could maybe do a short version of a feature film that you're planning, planning, planning to do um, and then use that to you know like get funded. So you could use a short for very, you know, so you could use a short for various things either from just getting awareness, um, building an audience, build, in, like building credibility, and getting some accolades even that would then lead to you know funding in future. Uh, 
Um, feature films, I would say, depending on the budget, and um, you could look at doing it theatrical, which is always, you know, like very, um, you know, that's ideal, um, but not always possible. Um, because to get into the cinema, there's several like barriers to entry. Um, it's become more accessible now that you don't essentially, that don't necessarily need, you know, a sales agent or a distributor to actually get your film out, you know, to cinemas. Um, you could do that, you know, like yourself. At the same time, VOD is very hot right now, um, since the DVD market is actually dwindling. You can easily do your films, take it on Distrify or you know Amazon S3 or even you know like Vimeo or something and basically your film is done you start making money from it um, in saying that that you know I'm mean, saying that the traditional um, you know options are still there whereby you go out there and look for distribution whereby if someone comes in and foots the bill to get the film into theaters or they foot the bill for DVDs or TV deals um, but it's so much easier now to actually do that yourself so depending on on the scale of the film and what you're trying to get out of it, it might be easier to just target in you know, like the audience itself. Uh, well, that's a bit of a tough one because when working with sales sales agents. Um, I've found anyway, um, you know, in my experience that whoever's selling your film, because that person pretty much would be the one that we're interfacing, you know, with the distributors. So they need to buy into your film themselves. Um, you know, like for instance, Turning Point, my last film, um, my American sales agent used to be an executive at Universal Pictures. Um, so he saw the film, he loved the film. Um, he's left Universal now, but still got strong, you know, contacts there. So as soon as he saw it, he said, I can get this into Universal. You know, that's what you want to. I mean, that's what you want to hear ideally, um, as opposed to someone that um, you know is only selling your film because they want to make money from it. So the sales agent really should be as passionate about the film as you, the filmmaker, because when they go out, they like to sell the film. Um, you know, they're the ones selling it for you, so they need to show the passion and literally sell it. Oh, we're done. We will come to New York and bless your children. Good day, sir. Um, you must be Uncle Steve, right? <laughs> this is my fiance's house, Ade. Well, that's not possible because Ade is my husband. Stop that, man. That's a man. You are in America. Use your brain. You're not in Nigeria. I am just trying to be nice to my husband. You do not beat me in Nigeria. It is here you want to come and beat me. Welcome to Benelux Media, your TV and film production company. We produce TV programs such as Take 101 and Show for Africa. We produce such films as Forget the Pact and Phantom of Fury. Are you looking to produce documentaries, adverts, trailers, jingles, promos, Benelex Media will take care of your production line. Contact Benelex Media on 0207 998 0930. That's 0207 998 0930. Or we can be viewed on the website at www.benelexmedia.com. You can email us at studio at benelexmedia.com. And bear in mind, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on Benelux Media. Um, it's quite disheartening because um, when you've got an idea in your head, you know, 
it's the best possible film that would ever be you know that would ever be made you then go off and make the film you know you've had budget cuts um certain talent you know suddenly you could not afford them or they were not available and certain things actually happened and you've gone and put all this work into making this film you've now seen it um even if you're being subjective um in how you're looking at your film you can still tell that you know it might not be where it should be or what you're trying to get out of it and a sales agent um when they pick up that film you know ultimately they want to sell it you know they're representing that film but they're making money from actually selling that film um a lot of them would take a retainer but i just like get get them around um so if you reckon your film for instance should be doing um a 5000 screen you know like theatrical and a you know and a sales agent comes back and say this is straight to dvd and you might sell you know you you, you might sell 10000 you know like units um that will be very very disheartening unfortunately is the truth so it's then a case of now changing your marketing strategy to actually get the most out of what you have Well, I've done two features. Um Twisted was in 2007. Um that had distribution. Um and it was quite bizarre because when the film was made, um I didn't think anything of distribution. My vision pretty much was to make a film. I wanted to make a film. I didn't think as far as what to do with the film once the film was done. Um because it wasn't something that I'd ever actually thought about. Um so the film was made and um I walked into an audience cinema to inquire about hiring a screen because I saw an advert saying you could hire screens. So I was going to hire a screen to show the film to my family. And fast forward in a few years later when a turning point was made, um the budget for the for turning point is probably about 20 times that of Twisted. Um given the cast it's got a lot of Hollywood angle in there as well. You know, I've been acting for a very very long time. I the first movie I did was in 1967. and I've been very fortunate to have a long career. And I I can be a little critical sometimes and very demanding of directors that they come to work, they know what they're doing, they be professional that they control the set. And working with Nee Toalawi, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, was a real pleasure because he was able to do all of those things and really just make a great working environment which is so important when you're doing a movie. We shot this movie in Delaware, a state that I hadn't shot before. So uh if the director can't control the set it becomes impossible but this is a real pleasure. I'm so proud to know him because I think he's going to do great things. Um so it's, it was a real pleasure for me. As you may already know, making a film's not rocket science. All it takes is courage and enthusiasm.